Hey, this is the Brink here, back with another Verdict video. This one's about the Soda Popper. Alright, let's start off with the strengths this time. This weapon is very powerful when it gets mini crits, like really powerful. You're going to be dealing out a lot of damage. I've seen 150 damage when you're up close dealing these mini crits. And so each shot is very, very, it packs a punch. So when you get behind someone, whether you have mini crits or not, the rapid fire with this weapon, because you're going to be firing faster, you're going to be reloading faster with this weapon, it does a lot of damage. It's going to be doing 200 damage without many crits when you get behind someone, so that's enough to kill almost any class. And so, my last point about the strengths would be, did you guys know that you can store the mini crits? I think I show you in the video, and this is a really big point, so pay attention to this. You can, sw if you switch to your pistol or if you switch to your melee weapon after you get the hype meter to almost full, then you can store the mini crits, and you can switch back to your primary whenever you want, and you're gonna get those mini crits. And you can s then you can switch back to the pistol and have mini crits with your pistol. Or you can switch back to your melee weapon and crit people up with your bat or whatever you want to do. Those mini crits are storable, and so that's very very useful. All right, so weaknesses. This gun is very weak before mini crits. It just it doesn't do enough damage for the two rounds it has. It, it reloads faster and it fires faster, but it's not good enough to justify until you get those mini crits. So unless you're using the mini crits, it's just not worth it. All right, so rapid fire is very rarely used. Okay, so it's not quite rarely used, but a lot of the time you're going to be missing the first shot because you're, you're going to miss the first shot, and then you're going to correct your aim. So, rapid fire is not quite as useful as you might think. Alright, so just like the Force of Nature, it's quite weak from long range. It also has a large view model, but since it reloads faster, it's a little bit less noticeable than with the Force of Nature. But since it's weak from long range, it's not going to be very good against many sentries. You're not going to get very much value out of it unless you're up close and personal, just like with the Force of Nature. So that could be another deciding factor for you if you want to use this gun or not. It's also very hard to focus on the mini crit meter. If you notice the height meter in the bottom right corner, then you're going to see that filling up. It's very easy to focus when you're watching this video, but when you're actually playing, it's much, much harder. Because you're in the moment, you're not really paying attention to that, and then it just pops out. Oh, you have mini crits. Boom. Sometimes it's going to be very useful, and sometimes it's not. And so you really have to focus on storing those mini crits when you're not around anyone and you're running a lot. So overall, I think I like this weapon better than the Force of Nature, just because if you're firing at someone, and that rapid fire is going to hit with this weapon, the Soda Popper, it's going to hit. But with the Force of Nature, if you're doing rapid fire, you're going to hit with the first one, knock them away, and you're going to miss the second, almost guaranteed. Unless you really, really put in a lot of practice. Alright, so my final verdict on this weapon would be that if you want to put in the practice with it, then it's a very good weapon. It, it really depends, though. You have to be able to focus on multiple things. You have to be able to aim with the second shot on the rapid fire. Overall, I think I like the scattergun better, but that doesn't mean necessarily that I'm not going to be using this weapon. I'm not going to be trying it out. Some situations, it may be better than the scattergun. So, I'll leave it up to you guys, but my final verdict would be that it can be a very powerful weapon in the right hands, just like with the Force of Nature, because these two weapons are very similar in the way they work. Alright, thanks guys for watching. This has been another Brink Gaming video, and keep gaming.